Milmax was created because there was a curiosity about why in machining operations, milling cutters chattered or vibrated, whereas most other cutting operations didn't have that same level of that issue. The curiosity as to why that would happen became prominent and that research was done and found, listen, if, if there's a way that we can measure just how much that system, and a system is the tool itself, the holder it's in, and the machine spindle. If we can understand how those three things want to work in conjunction with one another, maybe we can manage this chatter or work around it, if you will. So Milmax is actually built on several decades of machining research. What we understand is that when machining, we need to consider the structural dynamics of everything behind the tool in order to make the best selection of parameters for using that tool. You know, we're really focusing on the deployment of a technology that has been around for quite some time. But we got it into a form where it's easy to use, it's friendly, um, the display is easy to understand, and uh, so we worked on, on what's the right mechanism to deploy this technology. We call it a tap test because there is an instrumented hammer and that's used to excite the tool in the holder in the spindle. Uh, we measure the vibration that results with a little accelerometer and so that sticks onto the tool with a bit of wax. And so the data acquisition means that I see a signal from the hammer that says how hard was the hit, how long did it last. I see a signal from the accelerometer that says how did the tool vibrate in response to that. And then we combine those signals into this thing that we call the frequency response function. So the dashboard, there's a thing that looks like a speedometer on your car and the needle shows the spindle speed. And so effectively you try to choose cutting conditions that put the needle into a green zone on the dashboard and that's a place where chatter will not occur. Now what's nice about that is that on the dashboard you also have control over the axial and radial depth of cut so that you get to choose this yourself and the dashboard updates and, and shows you the conditions with that axial and radial depth of cut. Now I'm able to, at the CAM, or the computer-aided manufacturing programming stage, put in values that I have a really good idea are gonna work right the first time. So for me, I think the, the big value is to reduce the trial and error that's often necessary and move directly to a solution that I have good confidence in.